my beloved people, first of all, today I wish to recommend to you our sick. Please pray for them. There is one whose name I have not mentioned because I do not know whether I should mention it at this point or not, but at any rate, I recommend uh, all, of the, of all of the sick of our chapels to you. Tomorrow is Labor Day, of course. It's a civic holiday, but it is uh, commemorating the worker. And we at the monastery are going to say the Mass in honor of St. Joseph, the worker. Of course, Tuesday is the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And I certainly recommend this to you, this particular day, as a day of very special prayer. Now, there is something I did not yet put in the bulletin because it's a bit early for the bulletin, but I will tell you about it here and now, and that is that on October the 11th, and I believe that's the second Sunday of October. I believe I'm correct on that. October, the, just remember the 11th of October, Sunday, uh, we will have uh, at the monastery the um, uh, profession of vows for the sister, the novice nun. Now this is something <coughs> that you have not seen, and I heartily recommend to you, to the extent that it's possible, in, and I know it's a sacrifice, uh, to try to come to Carmen for that. Uh, on October the 11th, a sister will make her <coughs> first vows. Because it is something you've never seen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I mean, my beloved people, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his justice. There are many things today that we run into from time to time that are certainly in no way connected with Almighty God. And as is always pointed out to all of us, just how seriously do we take Almighty God to be? Or is it just a matter of uh, an attitude that is appropriate simply for churchgoers who feel that they will fulfill all that needs fulfilling by simply going to church when church is in session? If this is the best that we can produce, we are really not very close followers or adherents to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It has to be more than that, especially in these days when the whole atmosphere concerning the divine is totally out of kilter. The whole atmosphere concerning the divine is something that we do not really and truly consider as consequential. We can take it or leave it. And in most cases, we simply don't even bother to leave it. We don't even give it the benefit of a thought anymore. It's in the bulletin, but I heard just recently where a major religious order in the world, not just this country, but in the world, a major religious order who has much influence in missionary work 
throughout the world. The Mother Superior, I gave half of it away. The Mother Superior and her council gave orders that in all of their religious houses, wherever located in the world, in all of their re religious houses, and this, mind you, is only one order, the superiors gave order that in all their religious houses were ever located, all the crucifixes were to be removed. All crucifixes were to be removed wherever located in any of their religious houses wherever located. But they had something to put in the place of these crucifixes. And they gave orders that these things were to be placed or were to replace all crucifixes. Totem poles with the images of earth fire, wind, and water. After that, there's probably not too much left to be said. And then anybody can stand up and say that nothing is really serious in our church, or that this is something that we can overlook and don't get too disturbed about it because they mean well. So now, earth, fire, wind, and water take the place of the second person of the Blessed Trinity, Jesus Christ, crucified. I really think I have nothing further to say this morning. You're left speechless. <coughs> so God bless you.